And it's time for the final Reggie. How will this one go? Hopefully better than the first two, because seriously, those dragged on for a while. And so I'm going to open up with my latex sir. Hopefully it doesn't kill it. I doubt it though. Whoa! Oh, 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 that was a close call. But that critical leaves it exactly where I want it to be, but <laughs> being so lucky will probably prevent me from nailing a hypnosis anytime in the tw in the next 25 years. <laughs> I already missed two. Now it's starting to boost its stats. I hope it, do it doesn't boost them all the way, else I'm going to be in trouble, low offensive stats or not. And okay, now when <laughs> the third hypnosis connects, at least... So now, we can start throwing balls. Hopefully I won't need all 40 of them. And nope, this one doesn't work. And by the way, this is a picture of Reggie Steele before it adopted the Nazi lifestyle. This is a reference to the sprites of Reggie Steele in the, in the Japanese and American versions of Diamond and Pearl. Oh yeah, Metal Claw on Reggie Steele, by the way. The Metal Claw is its strongest stab move in Generation 3. That was before Iron Head was invented, but using stab on Reggie Steel back then was a major no-no. But yeah, as far as that Nazi sprite goes, they got enough complaints that they changed it for the European version of Diamond and Pearl, and that the new sprite remained all the way through Generation 4. Platinum, Hard Gold, and Soul Silver. But one thing I'm wondering is that, well, such a subject has to- Oh, two! Ah! Couldn't have that, could we? Catching Reggie Steel within two minutes? Nah. But, yeah, I would imagine that such a topic would be very sensitive in former Axis countries like Japan. So why they did that and didn't even realize it, I have no idea. In fact, I'll be honest, I don't know how... This is one thing that makes me really curious, to be honest, how World War II is treated in German and Japanese and Italian culture. That's something I've been dying to know for years. But yeah, the rest of the world considers them as the villains in this story, because when you win a war, then you get to write history afterwards. But how do those countries feel regarding their own actions? That's something that makes me very curious. And yeah, of course, while I was talking, I didn't catch Reggie Steel at all. What? You think I'm gonna catch it within three minutes? Of course, the game wouldn't allow that! Oh, one, two, three! <laughs> Well, that'll teach me to keep my mouth shut. I think, did I catch it within three minutes? I think Cam Studio said either three minutes or three minutes one, but I'll need to check. This was a really close call. But wow, this was a really quick catch, and this was awesome, especially considering my lucky break at the beginning where I got it down to like one HP. So now that this is done, well, I'm going to head to Moville City because, well, um... No, you know what? I think I'm going to go to Mobile anyway and I'll handle the rest afterwards because I was thinking maybe of buying the TM right away, but I think I'll be doing some money first at Gabby's and Ty's expense, especially now that I have the amulet coin. So, let's see now. I, oh, first I'm going to check which nature Reggie Steel is. Another calm Reggie. Yeah, boosts special defense, lowers attack, well I guess... How many special moves does Reggie Steel learn exactly? I should check, I haven't used the thing in a long, long time. In fact, I don't think I've ever used Reggie Steel, did I? Well, that doesn't really matter. Anyway, I picked up a uh, Regice, and now it's time to teach it a few moves. First up is going to be the Thunderbolt TM that I got in New Mobile. And, okay, let's see what moves it has and which should be forgotten. You know what? Screw Ancient Power. I don't want anything to do with a physical move with 60 power, no stab, on a calm Pokémon with 50 base attack. No thanks! And next up is going to be Toxic, which is going to be, uh, well, a filler move, more or less, because I'm going to rely on Bolt Beam mostly. 
and Curse is going to be the next to go. But don't worry, Icy Wind and Super Power are going to go before long as well. And now I'm going to check which item I should give Regice. So I'm just going to check inside the PC real quick. No, not that PC! The other one, stupid! I'm using the PC storage for Pokemon so much more often than the one for items. It's ridiculous. Okay, ground, dark, rock, nothing, 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 water, and yeah. Nothing really useful. Oh, I got an idea! I got an idea! I'm going to take that Quick Claw Gardevoir is holding and give it to Regice because, well, Regice is, after all, an overgrown popsicle with all the speed that you should expect from an overgrown popsicle. And of course you can't use that, you can only attach it to a Pokémon, hence the message the game gave me. And as for Gardevoir's held item, I believe I think I'm getting a magnet in the next trick house, which will be taken care of a few videos from now. Not right now, though. So, with that being said, I'll be right back with enough money to buy Ice Beam. And we're done! We're done with that money collecting, and there's a brand spanking new Ice Beam TM from the Mobile Game Corner. So, of course, Icy Wind is going to be the one getting the axe, and if you noticed a bit earlier in this video, I have a heart scale in my bag, so I'm going to put it to use right now. Yeah, I'm going to use the Move Relearner to teach Explosion to Regice, and it may seem redundant since it's going to be rather weak coming from Regice, but don't forget that it does double the damage that's actually listed. And, okay, which move should I teach? And, yeah, Explosion. And the game lies to you because it's not really 250 power, it's 500. So, Super Power will be going the way of the Dodo. And, well, don't worry, I'm not going to overuse Explosion too much. It's only as a last resort. As I said before, I'm mostly going to be relying on both these. And I ran some damage calculations for fun, and given equal type effectiveness, Explosion should be about twice as powerful as Ice Beam. So it would, it's going to be great to use in a pinch, but hopefully it won't happen too often. And here's another Fallen Call. It's been a while. So now that the Reggies are all caught, next up is going to be the revisiting of places we've already been to. First is going to be the abandoned ship on Route 108, because if you remember, there was a dive spot that we couldn't dive into about uh, something like 50 videos ago. 50 videos ago already? Wow, seems like I came here just yesterday. Time certainly does fly, doesn't it? Anyway, <laughs> yeah. So, there's that dive spot in there, and we met that scientist that works in the abandoned ship, and he asked me to find a scanner, and in exchange he's going to give me either a deep sea scale or a deep sea tooth. Now, as I mentioned before, you can use these items either for evolving Clam Pearl or for powering up its special stats. And I will come back on this probably in the next video, because I am right here. This is the dive spot that we couldn't explore earlier. And okay, now I guess we gotta go through this door. And we got another, well, dive spot, so to speak. It's the exit, which leads to six rooms here. And there's one of these that I can enter. Yes, only one. And that sparkle over there was the key to another one of the rooms. And there's also some loot to collect in some of these rooms. And in this case, it's going to be a water stone. Not bad, even though I'm not going to use it. But anyway, I got the key to a room. Oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is there anything in that trash can by any chance? Nope, it's empty. So I got the key to room one, so I'm going to open up room one and you probably get where we're going with this there are two sparklies one is a fake and one is real and this is the key to room four let's see if i can still get something nope uh, all the fakes uh, go away when you get the real one rain dance tm 
Well, okay, so now that I got the key to room 4, I'm just going to unlock the door, and after that, that's going to be enough for today. No, this is room 6, room 4 that I want. Thank you!